were running a little late this morning, and um, so we didn't cook any breakfast or anything in Africa. Show them what you had. I'm embarrassed. This is not me. This is there's nothing wrong with but McDonald's, what did, but it's not what I believe in. What did you eat from McDonald's though? An oatmeal and a hash brown and a like. That was the oatmeal something. that you showed me. Oh, I thought it was like soup. What did you eat? Um, a hash brown. Uh huh. And um, Marcy, don't be scared. Anthony's filming, but it's self drive. Self -drive. Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> by the way peach squad welcome back to another video with your boy booty king today's video what africa eats in a day to grow muscle to gain weight you know i promise you guys this video so here it is another thing guys please do not stare at my pimple like i know it's there i know it's huge and i know you probably can't see it anymore <laughs> But that's not the point. You know, what I'm gonna do today in today's video is not, I'm just not gonna show you what she eats in a day. I'm also gonna count the calories for every meal. So that way you guys have an idea. If you guys wanna know how to count your calories, what I recommend is you guys download my Fitness Pal in the App Store. It's pretty much an app just to like, you know, so you can track your food. So every time you eat something, you insert it in the app. You have to kind of play around with it just so you figure it out. But you pretty much insert whatever you eat and it counts the calories. And at the end of the day, it's gonna add up your whole entire day. So all the calories you eat, everything you eat, it's gonna add it up. It's gonna let you know the protein, the carbs, the fats, the calories, all that good stuff. And I'm saying this because I know it's a hassle every day, every time you eat something, having to like track it. I know it could be like a drag, but I recommend you guys at least do that for like a couple months, just so you guys, just until at least you guys understand your body, understand how much you have to eat, you know, and have like an idea of how much you have to eat to gain weight, to reach your goals, or whatever it is. But in the beginning, I really needed to like track everything I ate in order to eventually not have to track what I eat. It's all like intuitive eating. So I kind of have like an idea of how many calories I'm eating every meal i have an idea of how much i have to eat every day in order to lose body fat or gain weight so like you guys saw africa's first meal mcdonald's we were in a hurry in the morning so we were running short on time and we didn't have enough time to cook breakfast so we got mcdonald's you guys notice how quickly those calories add up for breakfast that's why i always recommend to people that are trying to lose body fat not to eat fast food because the calories add up it's such a small meal but it's like 900 calories right there already. Obviously, you're trying to gain weight. It's not going to hurt you. You know, you want those calories. But you don't want to overdo it with the fast food because it's a lot of fat. You know, when restaurants, fast, especially fast food places, they use a lot of freaking oil, guys. You know, even though it's calories, well, you don't want to overdo it with the fat. You know, you still need protein. You still need carbs. Too much fat, you know, you're going to gain weight, but it's not going to be a lot of body fat. That's not what you want. So you got to be careful. You know, you want to make sure you get enough protein, enough carbs, too. Damn, babe, your yeah, hair is long today. Why? What's the occasion? You. Why are you lying? Our wedding ring. <laughs> Was it for really for that? No, I had a dinner for the event, the pump. What's this? What's this? What's this? You two have it. You two. When you pet one of them, you gotta pet the other one or else the other one gets jealous. Come on, heaven. Come on, get over here. Ghosty, where are you going? Ghost! Where are you going, boy? Okay, so for the protein shake that Africa usually drinks, so I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients uh, real quick. Right here, we got the plant-based protein, and then we have a banana, and then this like gooey liquid, that's a Bene calorie. The Bene calorie right here, you get these on Amazon, and the reason she adds this to her shake is because it has a lot more calories like around 330 calories. That's all that's in here. The next thing we're gonna add is almond milk right here. We're just gonna add like around eight to 10 ounces. Baby, guess what I got for you? Okay, so the protein shake that Africa just drank, you, she usually drinks two of those a day. So the calories on that was like around 680 calories. So that's already a thousand three hundred, like around 1,300 calories. Plus the McDonald's she ate, that's 2,200 calories. And her goal has been to eat 2,500 calories daily. So we're only 300 calories short already. Usually she eats like around five times a day, but you know, McDonald's, her, that breakfast she had was 900 calories. She usually doesn't eat that many in one sitting. It's usually like around 600. Her meals are usually around 600 calories. That's like a big improvement because you know, before when I first met her, 
she could not eat at all like in one sitting she could she struggled to eat she was probably eating like 200 calories a sitting so she had to eat more frequently like snacks like all the time so her shakes her weight gaining shake was like a thousand three hundred calories that's the only thing that well, was super that was like the only thing that was super high in calories that you were yeah. able to like really drink, drink or eat in one sitting. but it was easier because it was just a liquid you know if i was if i told her to eat a thousand three hundred calories in a sitting with food yeah, there's no way you know i want to get your advice for peach squad because you know, obviously I don't go through it, but what's something you could tell someone that struggles to eat, like that doesn't really have an appetite? Um, you have to schedule your meals. Like you have to have a schedule because if you don't, I don't know if I'm sure many can relate. You just don't get hungry. Like you'll get hungry once a day and you can go basically the whole day without eating. Um, that's not the case for me now. Now mm -hmm. I do get hungry, but in the beginning for, I want to say a year, a year and a half, I struggled with that. I did not get hungry and I'm the type of person if I feel any emotion like if I'm extra stressed extra happy extra excited extra sad no matter what emotion I feel overly out of like my norm it takes away my hunger do you think um, um working out like consistently? it definitely helps feel hungry like uh. to feel hungry it, working out if I'm not working out I'm not as hungry but that's because you burn a lot of it so your body craves it you know and then when you build I'm guessing when you build muscle it just speeds up your metabolism a little bit because yeah. you have a lot more muscle now than when you first started so that explains why you get more hungry <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, but I think if you're asking for advice, the advice I can give you is schedule your meals. Like, I have a game plan. Anthony would always tell me, hey, it's the night before. Do you know what you're going to eat tomorrow? Do you know what your breakfast is going to be? Do you know what your snacks are going to be? Do you know your what pro like what time you're going to do your protein, dinner? Like, do you know what you're going to eat? He would always emphasize that. And this is way before we... Uh, had meal preps or anything like that like it, this was like in the beginning where i had to kind of figure all that out yeah um, and another thing is like you know if you're someone that needs to get enough calories daily but you struggle maybe you have to wake up a little earlier you know if you eat breakfast really late like around 1 p.m pretty much you have to get enough calories throughout the window that you're awake so let's just say you wake up at um 8 a.m and you go to sleep at 10. now you have that whole window to eat to get enough calories now if you're eating your first meal isn't until like 2 p.m now you only have from 2 p.m to 10 a.m you know so you're just decreasing your time window what you want to do is you you want to increase that window so if you wake up earlier just to eat you know like 7 a.m 8 a.m even if you're not that hungry get a protein shake those definitely help a lot shakes mm -hmm. are so helpful because you know it's a liquid you could just down it and it could be like a quick 400 calories without you even knowing so that's something I recommend that I kind of recommend it for her. Yeah, that's one thing for sure. I think my other advice is, I know this is sounds a lot easier to say, but if you don't train your stomach to eat more, you're never going to be able to eat more. Um, so it's very important that you force feed yourself as much as you can, not to the verge of throwing up. You know, usually I think with skinny girls, you just don't like you get full very fast mm -hmm. or you kind of just like stop eating because you're like that's it you have to even if it's two bites three bites more like even if it takes you another extra 20 minutes to eat those two three bites you have to sacrifice and you have to do it and that's how you train your stomach to be able to fill in more um like we said um i think my last advice so one two my last advice would be be patient with yourself gaining weight and training your body to uh, intake more calories and and be able to do all that is um it's a little bit stressful on the body because it's a change any change is a stress whether it's good or bad it's a change and it's it's a stress factor so be patient with yourself be consistent with yourself and in no time you will definitely gain the weight that you've been longing to but you have to put in that work damn africa with her motivational talk of the day <laughs> you know all this advice guys is because you know we really want you guys to reach your goals so if you're following the series like my main goal to transform you guys so of course i'm gonna give you i'm gonna be giving you guys all these tips you know you have to be patient it's not gonna be easy but it's doable best way to success is to not compare yourself that's why i, I preached it on the first episode don't compare yourself if you don't compare yourself and you don't put a timetable you know there's not gonna be as much pressure you're gonna enjoy a little bit more you know just take it day by day guys step by step i promise you guys if you guys put in 100 percent, you guys put in the work day by day before you know it you're gonna you seeing a huge change okay guys so i want to show you one of the snacks that i'm 
Africa is gonna eat. So, you know, it's just yogurt and banana. Um, you could also add like granola to this, maybe some honey, whatever you like, but this is all we're doing. You know, this is gonna add up to 295 calories, I believe. I'm not sure, I'll, say, I'll show a screenshot of the calories, you know, because we already had around 2,200 calories. You know, so since we already had like 220 calories between the other three meals, which was on um, breakfast and the two protein shakes. And like I told you guys, usually it's, she eats like five times a day, um, two protein shakes and then three meals. But today was a little different because we had McDonald's and it was pretty high in calories. And this is something else that she's gonna eat. Um, the yogurt we're using from, I believe it's from Whole Foods. It's a dairy free, yogurt um it has about 150 calories and then another banana just a banana um and that's pretty much it there's like a good snack you guys could eat between your meals or if you add more things to it maybe like granolas and or whatever more ingredients you want to play around with add more calories it could actually count as a meal but you know something that i really want you guys to um, figure out how to do is you know my fitness pal so before I end this video I just want to talk about like my fitness pal so what you do is you download in the app store whenever you're gonna enter your food you type in like whatever you're eating so let's just say it's a banana or even if it's just yogurt right here what you could do my fitness pal has this thing where you could scan the barcode and you guys see there's a barcode here and it'll pop up this exact yogurt with the amount of calories everything exactly how it is in this nutrition label it's going to pop up on the app so that's a good way to like add the add the food that you're eating with if something has a barcode like this obviously a banana doesn't have a barcode all you do is like type in the banana and just click on that but you know this is just an example of something she ate it's really hard to just give you like a like a template you know, because everyone's different. You know, some people could eat four times a day. Some people want to eat five. Some people, some people want to eat six times a day. Like the, the nutrition, like what you eat in the day, that's probably the most complicated part only because everyone's different. So it's hard for me to show you what you should eat because, you know, a lot of things we eat today, maybe you don't like them. You know, you have to find foods you really like. Just like experiment with your foods, track your calories using my fitness pal. You know, if you want to weigh your food, go on Google and figure out how much like an ounce of chicken breast weigh, um, how many calories are in an ounce of chicken breast, things like that. Like you, you guys have to put in the work too. You know, I can't just hand everything to you. You have to do your the workouts on your own. You're gonna have to count your calories on your own, whatever it takes. Um, I know you guys could do it. There has been millions of people that had transformed themselves. Why can't you be next, right? You just have to put in the effort. You know, it's gonna take some effort, you know, some sacrifice, waking up a little earlier than you usually do. But, you know, I just wanted to end the video on that note. I believe in you guys, you know, I, I'm, I want Africa to see results. I want her to be an inspiration to you guys because I want you guys to see results yourselves. I know you could do it, but that's pretty much it. You know, and I'm not gonna show the other protein shake because obviously it's the same thing. 635 calories, I believe. Yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching the video. And I'll see you guys next time, Pete Squad. Oh, and don't forget, Pineapple belongs on pizza.